Well, hey gang, Daryl Davis coming to here to talk about designing a life worth smiling about. So I want to talk to you about your willpower bank account. See, let's say you had $100 in a bank account and you start spending that $100. As the day progresses, that's going to get smaller and smaller, which means your buying opportunities are less and less, da 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 da. Now, I think the same thing is true with our willpower. There's actually been studies done on this, but I'm not going to quote the studies. Let's just look at our own lives. Have you ever tried to, you know, reinvent your life and create good habits in a lot of areas? Like, let's say you're not happy with your weight or your health. So here's what you do. You wake up, you say, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the gym every day. All right, maybe six days a week. And I'm going to wake up two hours early, even though I like to sleep in late. And I'm going to also eat healthy. I'm going to get rid of all the carbs, even though I love the carbs. I love the carbs. I'm going to get rid of all of them. And I'm going to eat vegetables. I can't stand vegetables. I'm going to eat the vegetables. And then I'm going to prospect in my business. I hate prospecting, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be happy when I can be thinner, healthier, working out, and making a lot of money. Have you ever tried this before? Well, if you have, you already know the answer to this, and that is it doesn't work. And the reason why is because you've only got so much willpower. You can't take all your willpower and, and, and divvy it up amongst all these areas, and you're going to succeed. So what we have to do is take one thing at a time. If you've got some major stuff, like for me right now, I'll be honest with you, I must admit this, I've been gaining some weight, I haven't been healthy, so I'm like, all right, I want to start working out again, start jogging again, it's nice, the summer, the birds are chirping, I want to start learning some dance routines, because I like to dance, I'm going to do that. And at the same time, I have a deadline for this book that I'm writing that is, yeah, I'm getting close to the deadline. I have a lot of this to do, the work in the book, and it's stressing me out just a little bit. I'm still smiling, but I'm getting anxious. I know that if I'm going to try and wake up two hours early, working out, working on my business, taking care of my family, making, and also working on this book, I know I can't do all of that. I'm not superhuman. So what I've got to do is take one thing at a time. After this book is complete, then I'm going to focus on the next project, which will be the, the health and the dancing and all that. So I say this to you, the same thing. Try not to do so many things at one time. You're going to deplete your energy. It just doesn't work. Take one thing that's important to you. Get that done, but make sure when that one's done, you've already got the other one in place. Make a commitment. Work on that. Have a breakthrough on it. Create the good habits. Anyway, I hope this helped you. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go back to writing my book. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to keep smiling.